Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where I just looted everybody. We got a couple little notes. I sent a bunch of stuff back to camp and I picked up a bunch of armor in the hopes that uh, I can sell it. And I sent a bunch of it back to camp in the hopes that I can sell it. But let me see. Her love for it was like a plum. What does this have to say? Her love for it was like a plum. It grew so sweet within her tum, and with a wiggle of her bum, she set right out to see love done. A curse had made the land its lair. It lay o'er all like willow hair. Oh, it could strip the body bare, so filled the people with despair. A shadow curse without a light, yet she would kindle romance bright. And in oh, and so in moony dark of night, she went to it bereft of fright, and hugged the curse, the wicked light. Her love for it was like a plum, then so sharply pain did come. It chewed her flesh like scrumptious gum. She trickled, she burst, she started to run. Ugh, that's her. Oh, kitty, hi. I knew this cat was hiding in the closet. Hi, right, kitty. Uh, anyway, that was intense. Uh, like a plum. Hers was like a plum, and then, oh boy, was she treated like a plum. I, just, I was like, am I reading this right? Like, she's going to, like, love the curse? Like, is that... Uh, sounds like I was right. The task at hand... Uh, both of these came from pilgrims, I think. Uh, I need the Shadow Mastiff alive and intact. If that is not the case, the second half of your payment shall be forfeit upon your return to Baldur's Gate. I have generously paid a large amount of gold in advance, and I have supplied all the nece necessaries you shall require to see this endeavor done correctly. They say you are unmatched as a poacher for your sake. I hope that is no exaggeration. Well. That did not go well. Um, also, I always want to poke the shadow vestiges and get sad, so. Thoughts of baby names. She did not wish for her firstborn to be named after her mother-in-law. Muldred. Yeah, that's, uh, I don't know if anybody has a Muldred in their family. Day, I'll catch a Good for you, but also, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> oh, the cat wants out. You want out, kitty? All right, well, we are looking for wherever they have put the boy. Oh, is he not in the building? Is he, like, at camp? All right, uh, so time to go to camp, then. We don't need a rest, but I do want to talk to Halson. Bucko, yeah, where, where you at, buddy? What an odd assortment of people we have. Alright, where? He was way back here, yep. There he is, see? With the shadow car, speak to Halson. Indeed. Hmm. Daniel is resting, but it's no easy slumber. I discovered what's wrong. Oh, my so beautiful. The shadows rendered him in two when they bore him away to the shadow fell. Half of his essence remained here, amidst the curse. What stayed behind would have been the strongest part of him. But after all these years left in the darkness, corruption must have taken hold. Yeah, I found him. Um, tell me how I can help. It's both simple and not. We need to find Thaniel's missing half and make him whole again. Only the missing half may not come willingly. The curse will have sunk its tendrils deep, twisting Thaniel's essence into something else. Yeah, I know, a spooky child. I met a sort of shadow child before, a little boy named Oliver, around Thaniel's age. Yep. And you saw this boy yourself. That can't be a coincidence, but we need to be sure. And I truly mean we, if you wish. Every moment counts, and I've asked much of you already without being at your side. Oh, are you going to join? Yeah. Leave it to me. This doesn't have to be your burden alone. Okay. Every Wait. moment counts, and I've asked much of you already without being at your side. Uh, if you want me, I'm woo! yours. Woo! Against the curse, against the absolute... Anything. Just say In another life, Halson. 
Join me. Your ranks are full. Woo! You'll need to make an opening for me if I'm to follow Housing you. Housing is to join us. Uh, take Lazel. I'm with you. Oh, hi, Kitty. You're back. You came back. Oh, my gosh. We have Housing finally. I'm so glad I did the, the curse lifting thing. Oh, my gosh. This is so exciting. Oh, and it's so weird to, like, acquire a companion so late in the game. I know there's a couple. Kitty, I hear you. The door, you opened the door. You can go back out. Why did you come in? If you're going to yell. A druid. All right. Okay, let's see. This is maybe get good. I have a druid, like, way that is that I haven't played since almost the beginning of the game, really. That, that I would love to play again so this will be nice practice badger what is a badger do that's so cool oh that's really cool of a dire wolf that can incite and distract allies yeah kitty kitty take the shape of a cat that can avoid attention and meow to distract enemies you do distract me don't yet i can hear you i don't know if you guys can but it's really funny He's a, he's a long-haired orange cat. Action, wild shape, bear. That's right, his original one was a bear. Okay, accept. Oh my gosh, do I have to give him armor and stuff? Oh my gosh, we gotta outfit him. Oh, he gets moonbeam. I don't get to have moonbeam. Honestly, I think having Halston around and being able to do like the stuff that he does would be a bit of a bittersweet for my palette like i said when the oak father like when he was praying to the oak father and was like you know let me be your vessel of light like doing the oak father magic um my character while well, the paladins aren't necessarily like beholden to a specific deity um the oak father would have been pretty high up in the pantheon i think of of um entities that my paladin was uh inclined towards and so seeing that i think would have been incredibly painful and like envious but also like at the same time like she still has her reasons to be questioning you know so she's like torn in half um so having Halston around i think is kind of a um with, like like a bittersweet thorn in your side I don't, that doesn't make any sense but like something that she like wants to keep around but also hurts her i'm not saying it very well but i like Halston, so i'm gonna keep Halston around <laughs> Deep Wrath. Oh, that's the... They can cast Dancing Light in charge. A Dire Raven. Ooh, it can avoid attention and blind enemies. I have been curious if we could do this. Like, I have speaks with animals and periodically throughout fights, I'm like, oh, I should use that to, like, make the animals stop attacking me, like, under certain circumstances. But then I'm like, oh, that's not how it works. But there is an animal friendship spell, apparently. And I think I should give him speaks... with animals. It'll be fun to have a druid do talking to animals. Yes. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not min maxing this by any means. I'm just doing my little best. You can make an additional attack after making an unarmed strike while in wild shape. Sick. Ooh, wow, look at these. Daylight. The druid also, the druid armor also, best armor, at least the best starting armor in the game, best looking. Wild shape owlbear, oh, they can rupture the ground and become enraged, or panther, oh boy. Your attacks count as magical for the persistence of both, the purpose of overcoming resistance and immunity to non-magical damage. Wow, they've really done the druid, like, really, really good. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all these things. Blight, you oh, 8 to 64 damage. Plats take maximum damage from the spell and have disadvantage on saving through against it. I don't fight that many plants. I do fight some plants, but... Oh, a group. <gasps> Conjure a minor elemental. Conjure a woodland being. Oh, you can call down lightning again without expending a spell slot. In this protection spell. Ow! Threw it OP! Ah. 
saber tooth tiger. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be a freaking druid one day, one of these days when I grow up. And I think I will give him alert. I just, I, I realize these are maybe not like min-maxing things, but like they seem, I, I'm trying to pick ones that are also thematically appropriate. I think that's more of what I try to do is like thematically appropriate ones. Um, so to me, him being a nature guy, he should be alert and he should be mobile. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with that. Ooh, this is so cool. Oak Father preserve you. Ah, that's painful, actually. Um, whoa, okay, now we can apparently talk a lot. Said Daniel. Uh, any idea how we can find it? No matter how it's been twisted by the shadows, it is still part of Daniel's essence. It will resemble him somehow, and may show signs of his power. Yeah, the guy was a teeth. Look for signs of life in the darkness. Wildflowers where everything else is dead. The curse cannot subdue the power Thaniel bears. Not entirely. In fact, I think I saw just the sort before. Not long after we first came within reach of the Shadow Curse. <laughs> Fool that I am, I did not grasp their significance at the time. There is a ruin some way outside of Last Light. I caught a glimpse of fresh blooms there, but did not investigate further. I shall mark it upon your map. I met a peer of you. Also, that is kind of silly. It's like, oh, yeah, to Drew, I didn't notice that there are flowers growing in the Deadlands, but okay. Um, I met. Also, I am tempted. I am so tempted. I have another character who's going to jump Halson's bones as soon as he can, but oh boy, howdy. It's be he's probably kind of like catnip to her, in particular, because of all the things I said about it being like. She's like. It's like touching. The divinity that she once had you know like being in the proximity of somebody who has the divinity that she once had and like but also like so that's like a comfort and also a sorrow like I, i'm i'm totally making like I'm, I'm fan fiction writing apparently but like you know i'm i'm, I'm head cannoning a lot of stuff that's not gonna be in the game but oh, i wonder if carlax okay with sharing <laughs> i don't think she is <laughs> I met a peer of yours, the druid Jahira. Do you know her? Only by reputation. She was present when we marched against Ketherick Thorm, but on the far end of the battle lines from where I fought. And in the chaos that ensued, well, our forces were scattered. I led some to safety, but never learned of her fate. I'm glad to hear she survived. <laughs> Though in truth, I should not be surprised. She was always said to be formidable and cunning. I could have learned much from her, no doubt. We seem to admire her greatly. There is much to admire, judging by the stories. I cannot help but wonder how she would have handled some of the challenges I faced as Archdruid. Would she have helped the refugees? Defended the Grove? Controlled Korga? At least now we can benefit from her presence. And perhaps work to a common goal. Yeah. You spent all these years fighting the Shadow Curse. What happened once it's lifted? Honestly, I never thought I'd make it that far. But the Absolute is a threat to all, and I promised I'd help you with your parasite. So I'll remain with you. If you'll have me, then. Yeah! <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Of course, I only wish you'd join me earlier. So do I. <gasps> but one duty at a time. Halsen approves! Woo! Um, what happened before when the Shadow Curse was unleashed? Druids and Harpers joined together to put a stop to Ketherick Thorm. We marched on Moonrise, and after much fighting, we prevailed. Even in defeat, though, Ketherick turned to Shah. Not long after we sealed him away in his tomb, the Shadow Curse took hold. No one had seen the likes of it before. No one knew how to react. Then it started to claim all those within its reach. Those who had survived the battles now fell to the shadows, became part of the shadows. And worst of all, 
I lost contact with Thaniel. I wanted to try and find him, but we couldn't stay. We would have all succumbed. When the Archdruid of the Grove, my predecessor, was seized by the curse. Oh, dang. I had to lead the survivors to safety. That was my first day as Archdruid. An inauspicious beginning. Hmm. Inauspicious sounds like what you did what you had to and saved lives. I like this one too. Not every day as a leader can be a glorious one. I think this would be kind of paladin -y, right? Like where you're like, you know, despite whatever pain is caused to you, saving lives is paramount, you know? You are right, but I must not lose focus until everything has been put right. I've wasted too much time already. Years in which nature has suffered. Um... Feel like I haven't gotten to know you properly yet? It's true, and I can't imagine I helped with that. Sometimes I let the task at hand consume me, and people think I'm obsessed. Trust me, the day I no longer have to talk about the Shadow Curse will be a happy one. What would you like to know? Well, which is, it, it's house an hour. You're quite large for my elf. Let I say that as me being a giant drow woman. Although, to be fair, the drow women are actually larger than men, so that would make sense for her to say to him. Um, don't take this the wrong way, but you're quite large for an elf. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, it's been said. <laughs> you show more restraint than most in avoiding the subject. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, any idea how it came about? Who's to say? Perhaps there's a half orc buried somewhere in my ancestry. Or perhaps not. Sometimes I think conventional wisdom is too narrow about what someone can or cannot be. Stranger things have most certainly happened. Oh, yes. Now, I think he makes a good point, right? Where it's like, the elf body does not have to be the specific, like, narrow one. I, I am a good example of that, you know? I actually don't, I don't remember, I think... No, I don't know if the elf body, I think you can mess with the elf body type. Um, I actually thought he was a half-elf because of how big he is. I thought he was a half-elf. Um, and my friend was like, no, he's a full elf. And I was like, oh, and so there you go, right? Like, there's uh, my assumptions, you know, making an ass out of me, you know? Uh, how did you come to be a druid? <laughs> I had a friend when I was young, long ago. He played with me in the forests where I grew up. But eventually I realized no one else had heard of him. It was Daniel, of course. Oh! Nature was my very first friend. I get older, but he hasn't changed a day. I knew then that I had to be more than a companion to him. I had to be a protector. So he was supposed to, he feels oh, uber obligated because he was like, he has a history with Daniel, not just as a druid. Uh, do you have people out there, family, friends, a lover perhaps? <laughs> You're not a doppelganger, are you? Oh my gosh. Trying to study me to learn all my secrets so you can take my place. Listen, I know. <laughs> Save for me. My line perished a long time ago. They rest in High Forest now, near the shade of the grandfather tree. The Grove became my family, with Sylvanus as my teacher. And now I have you. <laughs> You have me also get carried away. Um, I'm sorry for your loss. It was a long time ago. The wounds don't heal, but they become more bearable. I like that. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, and I know, I know some of these lines are cheesy where it's like, I'm sorry for your loss, but like all the other ones are dumb. So I have to go with the cheesy ones. Uh, oh, that's too, oh, that's too bold for now. Turn to other matters. Uh, tell me about something about yourself that I wouldn't even think to ask. Hmm. Um, I suppose you wouldn't be shocked to learn I love animals and nature. Oh, okay, nerd. <laughs> I, I know, I know. <laughs> well trodden down. <laughs> well then, let's see. Um, I whittle in my spare time. He's so cute! And I've something of a sweet tooth. 
Although everyone's very amused when I say I like honey. Because yeah. <laughs> he does transform into a bear a lot. <laughs> That's his thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's actually adorable. He whittles in his spare time and he has something of a sweet dude. I'm, I'm, I'm just dying inside. This is, he's such a cinnamon roll. Hmm. I wouldn't pay any attention to what others think. Interesting. Uh, whittling, what do you make? Ornaments, utensils, and ducks. <laughs> I like ducks. <laughs> this man! Oh my gosh, he's fast rising through the ranks. Uh, you're fortunate to know what you like. I wouldn't pay any attention to what others think. You're right. Sometimes I think people look at me and imagine my feelings can't be hurt. He's just a big softy. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Thank me by returning the favor, why don't you? <laughs> Come on. I'm sure you've something better than carving wood. Ooh, books. okay, yay! I live in mortal fear of Kraken, so I've never actually seen <laughs> This is the only option they give me? Really? Really? When I could be any... Oh, is that a call to Divinity 2? Also, at the very beginning of Divinity 2, when a Kraken attacks the ship. Oh my gosh. They could have given me some fun options. Dragon Age will give you some fun options for questions like that sometimes. I live in Mortal Field of Krakens, though I've never actually seen one. Well, they are fierce creatures from what I understand. But as long as you avoid the high seas, I think you can consider yourself safe. <laughs> That's enough. Anytime. That's enough sharing for now. Uh, how am I holding up in your estimations? Given the circumstances... You're faring as well as can be expected, I suppose. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's it? Wow! Okay! Ow! Alright, though. Uh, holy moly. Let me outfit this man. Okay, so I gave House in this armor. He looks absolutely ridiculous in this. Uh, I'm definitely changing the color. But it's a good armor for him. It's Cat's Grace. Increases his dexterity score by two, and he gains a plus one to dexterity saving throws, and increases his jump distance. So it's good for him, but it's just ridiculous looking. <laughs> oh god, I thought that was skin color for a second. <laughs> for like his skin color, I was like, what? Nope, I don't like that at all. It's the lichen one. I don't, I mean, it's alright. I don't, I, ju I don't, I don't think we're gonna be able to fix this though, honestly. I just don't think we're going to be able to fix this. The purple's going to have to do, I think. He looks like a Power Ranger. <laughs> I gave him Ring of Shadows, Shapeshifter Boon, the Envoy's Amulet, Vash Kohaku Boots, Sparkle Hands, Graceful Cloth, and he gets the Cacophony, Quarterstaff, and the Iron Vine Shield. So, I think, I, I do, I have been wanting to change, actually. Let's <laughs> I wanna <laughs> Let's see. Hang on, I can't see. Ah! Oh, that actually looks really good. Look at how tiny she is. We've got these three, like, hulking monstrosities. And then we've got Shadow Heart. Tiny. I think she's a half elf, technically. Yeah, she's a high half elf. He's a what elf. I'm a drow. Oh man, we are elf heavy. Um, that is so funny, though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it, actually. Uh, I am going to need to get him some better armor. He's light and medium cap capable. Um, and he can do, like, finesse weapons, um, which is nice. I gave, uh, I, I colored hers the drake armor, which I thought, or the drake color, which I thought was red, but uh, it turned, it's yellow on this armor. I don't know. I would actually, I'm very tempted to give Halson the um, brown and alabaster, but I just, this armor is not savable in my mind, so I don't want to waste it on him. And I like it so much that I want to keep it for myself, so. God. Oh. He looks so angsty, which is like the exact opposite of what he is. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. All right. Leaving camp. Who do we have? We have Karlak and Shadowheart. Uh, Allison's gonna be fun. Again, I'm very, like, heavy on the, this. I hate this armor. <laughs> I'm 
tragedy. <laughs> Let's see, does anybody have... Oh, I wonder if Halson can talk. Uh, let's see, let's see, hang on. Oh, look at him being all dramatic about it. I don't do that when I do speaks with animals. Oh, no, I wonder if Halson wants to talk to uh, Jahira. Point. The Archdruid Halson. Do not be surprised that I know your name. You fit a rather singular description. Big man. And one survivor of the Shadow Curse's fall ought to know another. Oh, he's like, oh, he's like fangirling. Uh, it is an honor to see you again, High Harbor. No need for titles. You may call me Jahira. So long as you are content to be known as Halsin. And the honor is mine. Uh, Your stewardship of the Emerald Grove has made for something of a story among the circles. The apprentice who survived the Shadow Curse and carried his master's home on his back, who was raised their master in turn, and searches still for a way to save what was lost. Oh, snap. But I ought to warn you, Halsen. Much as it shames me, it is not the curse I come to cleanse, but the cult. Uh, I mean to do both. Then I'll pray for the Oak Father to raise the road before you. But my battle is with the Absolute. We're gonna be friends later. All's well that ends. All of us. I think you hear gets to be have. a friend later. House in Deep Shadows over there. Well... I mean, we might as well. I'll go ahead and walk oh, over just cause, um... Well, no, actually, if we fast travel, I was like, I, I wanna get, like, dialogue, potentially. So, usually we would pop out of a fast travel. We get some dialogue sometimes. I can make some animal noises if it will make you feel more at home. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh, does he not get along with Shadowheart? I really do love the pale pink. It looks really nice on her. I tried it on Carlac's outfit. I didn't like it as much. Uh, but it looks really good on her. Which is all so big. It's like we're guarding shadow art. I am curious. And yes. Okay. So yeah. We are neutral right now. Car I keep getting approval for Carlac. And I'm I'm surprised. I keep thinking I'm probably maxed out. But apparently not. Um, freaking shadow hearts like you've changed me as a person. And our relationship is merely good. <laughs> Like, I'm like, okay, girl, you have obviously not had any friends. <laughs> like, and I don't say that meanly. I say that truly. As in, like, you have not had very many meaningful relationships in your life. <laughs> and, girly, I am here for you. All right, I think we go... Yes. This was the place where we saw the boy before. Oh! Oh, he's still in there! Yo, I told you, Alison, the boy is here. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody just hold the phone. Uh, quick save. Okay. Little boy, uh, you want to come back to your other half? Not back to glow, are you? Nobody likes a bad winner. Though shrouded in shadows, the child's resemblance to Thaniel is unmistakable. This must be his dark half, warped by the curse. <laughs> I still think you might have tricked Carl me. Carl acts like, Wah. If you did, I'll figure it out. Please don't. Uh, okay, we're just gonna... Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if Halston has any, a different approach to this. Not back to glow, are you? Nobody likes a bad winner. Though shrouded in shadows, the child's resemblance to Thang. Uh -huh. I still think you might have tricked me. If you did, oh, I'll figure okay, it. Okay, well then, can't give up now. I'll do it. What's up for discussion? Not back to go. Though shroud. I still think you might have tricked me. I know who you really are and if where you, you really did, belong. I'll figure it out. You need to reunite with Daniel. Spoil sport. Oh, I'm not going back. I like it here. I made a family for myself. I get to play all the time. You played as Daniel too. 
lunge at him. Wow, we are not... Really? And also, you think I'm going to even get, like, half of an essence of, like, a forest spirit just by jumping at it? Um, like it or not, you don't belong here. The, both of these suck. I'm going to use than it needs to be. I'll do the first one. Yes, I do. You can't make me do anything. I probably can't, <laughs> honestly. I don't want to play with you anymore. Yep, nice. Uh, he's scarpered. Scarpered? We'd better track him down if the shadows don't stop us first. Shadowheart is the kind of person that says scarpered? Alright, well, I can see invisibility. Oh, wait, he just. I'm here, I am, walking around looking for him because I'm seeing this AoE thing here. And uh, there's a portal behind me that he just walked into that I just completely missed. Well, how's, how's that? Shadow portal, too, just show, right there. That's cool. Uh, anyway, I'm actually going to call this one here. I don't know how long the episode's going to be, but it's about an hour recording. That's how all of these are usually. They're about an hour long, and then I get them down to like 30 minutes. If I'm lucky. <laughs> so, uh, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. I know this is a bit of a cliffhanger. We just saw him. He just ran off, but I think... This might lead into something big, and at 53, 54 minutes, uh, probably not a good time to start something. So we'll leave that for an exciting next time. So I thank y'all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Calido, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel, and I truly, truly cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.